Hi, I'm Prehistorica. When I was in grade 7, I tried to join a science fair. I thought I could prove to the world that lizards could dream, because I knew mine could. I have a bearded dragon, and I'd seen him in his sleep puff up his beard, which bearded dragons like him do when they're threatened or scared. And others thought it was impossible for a cold-blooded animal to dream. I couldn't do the experiment, but only a few days later, news articles started showing up saying that the Max Planck Institute had detected REM, or rapid eye movement, sleep in a bearded dragon, indicating that reptiles could dream. When mammals dream, or go into deep sleep, their eyes move around a lot beneath their eyelids. This indicates that they are in fact dreaming. Many of these headlines included references to dinosaurs, as this study would imply that dinosaurs too could dream. But how do dinosaurs sleep anyway? We don't have a lot of fossil evidence for sleeping dinosaurs, so it is hard to say for most. However, we do have one species that was preserved beautifully in its sleep. It was named Mei Long, meaning sleeping dragon. May was a Trudontid dinosaur from the Yixan, closely related to birds and dromaeosaurs. One day, 125 million years ago in what is now modern China, a baby dinosaur fell asleep, resting its head on its back with its snout tucked gently under its wing. And then, as it slept, it was buried in volcanic ash after an eruption. Or maybe it was suffocated by noxious gas from a lake. Either way, it died in the same position it slept in, and was preserved for millions of years until us humans dug it up. This is practically the only evidence we have for how dinosaurs slept, and it is remarkably bird-like. Birds sleep the way they do, with their head tucked into their feathers, in order to conserve heat. The fact that May was doing the same strongly suggests it was warm-blooded. May lived in the Yixan, and like many small predatorial animals from the area, it probably ate fish, small lizards and amphibians, and small mammals. It likely grew to the size of a duck, and lived alongside Dilong, Moganopterus, Cetacosaurus, and many others. It probably would have been prey to Dilong and Rapenomamus, the big dinosaur-eating proto-mammal I talked about a while ago in the Yixan video. May is the only non-avian dinosaur that we know the sleeping position of. It is exceedingly rare. We may never know how sauropods slept, how tyrannosaurs got up in the morning, or what velociraptor dreamt about. But we can try to understand. We can make theories or try to find fossils. We're always learning new things and finding new animals. Just this week, the highland giant finally got a name. The Dumahadi Mafube. Giant thunderclap at dawn. It was one of the largest land animals of its time. Maybe one day we'll get more fossils like May, but someone needs to find them first. I haven't uploaded in well over a month. School started up again and now I'm in grade 10 now. I'm also trying to get a volunteer position at the Royal Ontario Museum, and that is quite stressful. I haven't had a lot of time to make videos, and I will try to get more out in the future. In the meantime, I'm Prehistorica. Thanks for watching.